Hey guys, and welcome back to another vanilla tutorial. Today we are going to be building this stable house something behind me. Last episode, we built that windmill right over there, which turned out really, really cool in my opinion. And today, continuing on with that same style, I want to be building this here stable behind me that I was able to come up with. I think it's a pretty cool design. It's got a bottom floor to have at least three horses and maybe a little baby in there if you wanted. Then the second floor up here, we got some hay storage and we got just a general little living area that you can stay in and a really cool, interesting roof going on. So without further ado, let's get into it. So you want to go ahead and start out with a layout just like this. If you guys want to take a screenshot here, go for it, pause the video, whatever you want to do. But this is the general layout, pretty simple and easy going. And it looks like I actually forgot these on both sides. So that's a bummer. But what we want to do here is basically you want to bring the cobblestone up four high on every single area. So we want to go ahead and just bring this all the way up here, creating a really easy shape. We'll knock out the doorways and everything later on. We're just going to bring it up here because the roof is or the floor of the next level is raised up pretty high. So we can go ahead and bring this all the way up here and give ourselves lots and lots of space for our horses and whatnot on the inside. And we're just going to be building the outside structure of this guy again today. Same way we did last time. Then we'll go check out the interior of the last one to give you guys some ideas. Because I think interior is really up for whatever you want to make of it. And you can take a lot of time just to kind of make something up. So we'll leave it out up for grabs for what you guys can come up with. I'll show you guys what I was able to come up with. But overall, it's pretty simple stuff. I'm going to bring this guy up right here. Bam, bam, bam. Right. Finish this last little bit off. Perfect, cool. Then you can go ahead and actually bring all of these spruce woods all the way up to that high as well. Creating that nice, just rounded wooden shape to it. And we'll be working with these guys right afterwards. So go ahead and bring these all the way up four high as well, going all the way around the build. Make sure you don't miss any. There should be at least three or four on each side. So it's pretty easy. It's just kind of every two on the long sides. Or actually it's every two on every side, huh? Yeah, so you wanna do that. It's real, real easy to get going there. And bam, perfect, all done. Now, you wanna come in here with some dark oak stairs, and we'll just do this right now and place them on the bottom, facing out from every single one of the wood blocks. Makes the build a little bit larger, but it gives a cool look and some more support for this next floor that we're gonna be going up. Here on this open area, go ahead and just throw some cobble going right up like that. For now, we'll throw some cobble stairs right down there afterwards. And you can go ahead here. Actually, apparently these need to be five high. My bad. Yeah, we're one off. Bring up the spruce wood five high. Sorry, guys. It's been a little while since I built the last one. I wanted to get this video recorded. So I probably should sit down and just build it. And then after I come up with something cool, just finish it off right there. But go ahead and grab your spruce wood stairs. And right here, you're going to count up one, two, three, and place your stairs. And do that going all the way around this build just so we can start building our second floor, giving some support to it, trying to expand it out a little bit here. Go ahead and do it on the front side as well. And there you go. Should You should be looking pretty much like this guy right now, which is very simple. And on top of that, go ahead and place spruce wood planks, the full blocks. Then we're basically building up the outside of our second floor right now, which is really, really easy. And on the Okay, here on the front side for I was like, what is going on? And at the top of these blocks, go ahead and grab your dark oak stairs and bring those upside down, place them all the way around. And on the corners, go ahead and place a half slab on the upper upper part of the block just to create this nice rounded effect. We're going for that classic medieval kind of upper area, taller than the lower area, if that makes sense. And then go ahead also and grab your dark oak slabs and basically just take those all the way around. Probably could have done that at the same time. You want to just bring them all the way around here, basically creating a platform right now that we're going to be putting that second floor on that looks just like this. So now that we're at this point, guys, go ahead and grab your spruce wood and count up one, two, three, and just three on this time. And do it on the outside block wherever the guys were before. Just count one, two, three, and go straight up from there. And pretty much what we're doing here is working on creating our wall for the second floor of our building, which is going to be very, very nice and hopefully will turn out pretty well. So now that you got this in place, go ahead and grab some oak wood, just regular oak wood planks. 
and bring those guys in here and just place in this floor of our second floor, just straight across, giving you as much room as you possibly can. And then we can go in right here. It's, we're getting a lot, a lot of space in here, so don't really worry about how much room we got. And then we want to go ahead and fill this guy in. And now we can work on getting the staircase and everything going up here. I'll show you guys how I laid out the rooms and all that stuff. And then besides that, we'll pretty much just go and check everything else out on the other guy. So what I want to go ahead and do right here is just grab some oak stairs and bring these straight down right here, just all the way down to the bottom, to the ground. And you should just make sure you can walk all the way up it. And then what I like to do is on this block right here, turn that into a stair and kind of smooths it out just a little bit. So now you want to come back down in here and actually fill that guy in right there and go ahead and grab some cobblestone stairs. I know we're kind of jumping around here, finish off the first floor, but then you can throw a little stair right there upside down and then go ahead and grab your, what am I looking for here? We're looking for a door. Go ahead and grab your door and throw him right there. And on the, then we're gonna work on building out our little stable doors right now. So look in here and do that, that, and that. And you can go ahead and actually place in that cobblestone stair at the top if you want to. And place these guys all in here and do that with the cobblestone stair again. Just kind of creating that nice little rounded effect, giving the doorway a little bit more definition to it than what we had previously. And then what I like to do for the trapdoor entranceways are right like that, just right underneath it. And then what you want to do is come in here with some stone brick and basically place them right like there. Here you got your little doorway and it works out pretty great. And this does give you room to actually put a horse in here that you can it's not too small so you can actually fit a horse in here I think that's the first time I've ever built a stable where I can fit a horse inside it which is kind of sad because I usually I build a lot of stables so it's kind of a bummer that we can't actually put a horse in it anyways grab your spruce wood planks and just stack these going all the way up to three high and filling in this wall going all the way around including the low corner bits where we have these dark oak half slabs go ahead and do that too it kind of creates a little bit more of a rounded effect here on the top we're gonna come in and finish off these last little parts of the wall and then we can pretty much get started on the roof design here which in my opinion I think it's a pretty cool one it's kind of interesting it's got a weird slope to it but I think it worked out well for what we were able to use and come up with with what we got going on here so on this guy go ahead and just bring these up one higher on the end bits and do a row going straight across there and then kind of one two three Go ahead and do that on both sides right here. So bring them up one higher, so then a horizontal, and then one, two, three. Perfect, just like that. Now, before we get into that guy, let's go ahead and grab our materials. So we need our stone brick slab, we need some dark oak stairs, we need some dark oak half slabs, and we need our stone brick stairs, and we need our stone brick blocks. So pretty much what you wanna do is I started off on this side, Pretty much just down on every single one of these wood bits and raising it up in between just creating a little bit of like a flowing shape right there it really helps bring out like windows and whatnot if you put them in there later on so i think it's a nice little addition go ahead and do that so another half slab raised up into a stair then you want to do a backward stair right there and then a full block on top and then a stair we're basically doing the same style of roof that we did on our windmill just something a little bit more interesting I want to keep it really consistent with this theme. So you want to come up all the way here to the center and then do your little sticky outy bit. It's just a stair and then an upside down stair. It's simple, but it works very, very well for what we're trying to do and just adds a little bit of detail, making your roof that much more interesting. It's crazy how doing that little bit actually helps so, so much. So you want to come do your stair right there. You want to do a slab and you want to do the same thing we did on the front side here, just bringing those slabs down and then in between on the two, you wanna bring them up like that, which looks great. You can bring this slab over one, do the stair again. Then that upside down stair, we're just gonna go all the way around here, finishing this guy off, bringing that up, counting, basically going one upside down, one regular straight up to the middle, just one block at a time, placing that full block in there, doing that regular stair, then the upside down stair sticking out just overhanging one block, making that little bit of extra depth right there that we were talking about. 
You want to go ahead and place a full block in right there, upside down stair, then regular stair, and then our last half slab. And that's basically our border of the roof right there, which works really, really well. So now we actually need to go get the dark oak full block, I believe. Do we not? No, I guess we don't use it here. Cool. All right, so what you want to do here is grab your dark oak stairs and place these in, going basically all the way up to the top. And we do need the full block. I was just kidding. Testing you guys. Huh? No, I'm kidding. I just messed up. So bring this full block going all the way across there. Just for now, we'll mess with it later. Basically, you want to bring your dark oak stairs going all the way across here as well. Just kind of bringing them straight all the way across. It's quite a few stairs to place, but it's got to get done if we want to get this guy finished off here. As you can see, we got to just kind of keep going here. There's a whole lot of stairs to place, but it comes down to be a bit more interesting once we get down to the next level. So you can basically just place these all the way in here on both sides. And yeah, the front roof and the back roof are exactly the same. So I'll do the front one with you guys, then we'll copy the back one in. Well, it's the exact same minus these windows. So right here, you want to do that, that, and basically create this little rounded effect right there on the window, or on, not the window, sorry, the corner bit, and bring this straight across here. And like, oop, sorry, that and that. There we go, perfect. And then bring half slabs to make it mob proof, place them on the upper part of the block and you're good to go right there. Let me get the back half of the roof in and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, both sides of the roof are in here and now we can go ahead and kind of work on getting a few more things detailed out and go ahead and count in on either side, one, two, and three. So we're gonna do one, two, three. And we're basically gonna break these three stairs right there. And actually you probably wanna place a full block in the middle for now and place the stairs back in like that. And go ahead and grab a half slab and place that on top. Then grab your full block again and place that down below so we can place that flower pot in later on. You can do that on both sides here. So one, two, three, break that next one for now. I'm gonna go ahead and place these stairs in right like this. And it basically creates a little nice window frame right there. Then we can go ahead, we'll place some stairs on, on the inside of the build just to help pretty much having somewhere to put the window on. But you can go ahead and grab just whatever glass pane you wanna be working with and place that in both of them. And now in 1.12, they stick to the back of stairs so you can use a glass plane and it is great. Now you can go ahead and grab your favorite flower and, a, and your flower pots. And for this one, let's go ahead and just throw some ox, oxide daisies in there. So we can do that, bam, bam, and bam. Perfect, works great. And now this extra little detail bit I like doing here on the roof is basically do every other one of these guys and turn it into a half slab basically count till you're into the middle. And if you have an even gap like this, where there's two, basically go ahead and grab some stairs and do it like that and that, and it kind of helps smooth it out there. Really, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it does just enough. Now, straight down from this middle to make things a little bit more interesting, breaking up this boring roof again, basically go every single other, every single stair in this direction on that side, you wanna break so that they're facing outwards. And then doing the same on this side, you wanna do that too, right there. Gives a nice little breakup point and helps the roof along its way. Just quite a bit, then we can go ahead and do this on the other side as well. And just bam, two and three, perfect. Now this basically is the exterior of the building minus a few little extra detail bits, which we're gonna go ahead and grab our glass panes, our trap doors, our spruce fences, and that's basically it. So you wanna go ahead and come in on all four corners and place your spruce fences in like this, just adding a little bit more support to the roof, which looks very nice. And we forgot to fill these areas in apparently. So go ahead and just grab some spruce wood planks and fill this stuff in right in here. And did we forget the other side too? We did. Let's go ahead and do that right now. It's just three blocks, little L shape right there on both sides. Now on the front here, go ahead and break the windows on the far two ones. We don't wanna do all three because then it gets a little boring. Place some trapdoors in on the upper part of that block, just creating those cool little window overhangs right there. Now on the ends of these guys, go ahead and grab your spruce wood stairs and your trapdoors. It doesn't really matter what you're doing and do it like that and that on the ends and place trapdoors going all the way across. Now this side right here is a little bit more unique because you wanna go ahead and break those two drawers, doors right there grab the spruce fence gate and do bam and bam. So you got those two placed in there and then you wanna go ahead and grab your iron bars, your hay block, 
and then you want your trap door as well here. So you want to count down with your iron door, do one, two, three, four, and five. You want to place this hay bale in sideways right here, like that. And you can go ahead and place a wooden little trap door on the bottom of it. Grab a ladder here, and you can do the ladder on the sides right like that. Gives it makes it look a little bit more contained, but you got a little hay lift there. It's really easy, super simple. Gets the hay up to the top and you can throw it in that second floor. There we pretty much have it though. Now let's go ahead and grab our fences back again, the spruce fences. Bring these up one, two, three on all of these blocks, just adding a little bit more depth and support structure to it. Something super simple like this is able to bring a lot of the things together. Looks very, very good in my opinion. One thing we haven't done yet on this build is messing with the cobblestone, making it a little bit more varied and more interesting. I'll leave that kind of up to you guys. I'll show you what we did probably, but more or less, it's just andesite, stone brick, and some regular stone, and basically just go around. And I like to put the stone brick in the bottom part of it. So like that, then you can pretty much just go through here wherever you want to do it and mix in the andesite as well. It's a nice transition block between the two of them because it's still kind of in the same colors, but it's not quite as distinct as the cobblestone in my opinion. It's a little bit of a smoother texture. So go ahead and just kind of vary them in here, just something like this. It really doesn't matter what you do a whole lot as long as whatever looks good to you, go for it and do that. Kind of when I think about varying textures, I do prefer to have like the dark, the heavier blocks like our stone brick here as the base, because that's a little bit more realistic, but pretty much this is all you gotta do. So I know we said we weren't going to do it, but bam, we're basically done. So we might as well finish it off. Can go ahead and do that guy right there. Doing a little bit of extra stone brick in that one. Maybe not so much in here. Doing something like that. Bam, perfect. Look at that. There you go. And that's basically the exterior of the build. Now I want to go ahead and get into the interior here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our spruce wood and our regular spruce wood. So what you want to do on all these corners pretty much is bring this guy straight up to the top. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Bringing these designs all the way up. Adds a lot more depth to the interior of the build. Just bring it up all the way that you can. And it just kind of helps section off the rooms. It provides some walls that you can use or some areas to start walls easily. And basically what we're going to do is we want like a tack room or something like that where you could store all the horse gear like your saddles and whatnot which we'll check out in the other build. But more or less what I want to do is here, this is the only one that doesn't line up quite perfectly. But we're gonna go like one, two, three, four, and we're basically gonna do it right like that and right there. So pretty much you wanna bring this guy all the way up to the top. And this one actually is able to create a second floor, right, there, or a third floor, I guess. A little extra storage bit on the top bring that guy all the way over here and go ahead and bring it in kind of like that. You can squeeze a little door right in here. Works out fairly well. Just bam, right there. Divides the room up just enough so that it works in my opinion. And here we're actually gonna go ahead and bring it right down there too. Just adding a little bit of extra right in there. Then this point, go ahead and grab your oak planks, but you wanna grab the oak slab right there. But first bring this guy straight across your spruce wood like that and we're basically creating a little bit of a storage area right up here that you can use just place your oak wood slabs all the way across there and bam and then this cross beam right there that we made actually creates a perfect space for a doorway so go ahead and throw a wall in right here and bam that's basically how i broke up the interior of this guy and we can throw a little door right there so you got a room for attack room right here Got some extra storage up here, which we can go ahead and grab our, where are we, where, where is it? There we go, oak fence, and bring that guy straight across here so he can't quite fall off. But first, we got one more thing we gotta do. On the bottom side of all of these, go ahead and just place in stairs all the way across. It makes the interior a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to deal with. And roofs look a lot better from the inside if you have stairs on them and right here on this these bits to open up the window a little bit more go ahead and place them in like that just the stairs then on that upper area you can place full blocks in if you want to if you don't want to have the ceiling as raised as it is i know it makes things a little bit interesting when you're dealing with them 
but it does help quite a bit once you put these stairs in there. It just helps smooth everything out really. So I very much recommend doing it. I'm a huge, huge advocate for filling in your roofs like this. It just helps. It just helps a lot with whatever you're trying to do. So go for it and do that. Back here actually really doesn't matter. So we're gonna go ahead and just fill this area in with our little oak slabs. You can go ahead and fill that upper area in right like this. Just keeping it consistent, getting everything working out for that upper area. Perfect, cool. Now lighting and everything, you guys can kind of do that yourself, but more or less, this is the finished build. We got our little hayloft exit right here, which I like keeping it as the doors like that, which you actually can't get out of. Just, just realize that, but you know, it's for the hay. It's not, it's not for people. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So I'm 99% sure this is everything on this build right here that we needed to do. So if that's all you guys wanted, go for a hop out right now. But if you guys want to see what we were able to come up with on the interior, actually, now that I'm seeing about it, we did forget this. You know this little thing right here with the stairs and the trapdoors we did on this side? Go ahead and do it on the other side too, just as an extra little bit of support. And we can go ahead and grab our spruce stair real quick like that. Goodbye, andesite, and bam, now it's finished. <laughs> I swear, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. Anyways, so what we're over here, I think the coolest part of this build, honestly, I love these little hay, little storage things for the horses. So this one doesn't have a horse in it, so we can check this out. We got a little cauldron right here for a little water trough or something. Then up here, this is actually a very realistic way that they used to store hay. Pretty much what it was is some area to throw the hay on, then all the hay stacked up on it back behind these like ladders we're using right here is like a railing. But more or less what that was was an area for the horses. They could like kind of bite through these little gaps and whatnot and get at the hay. But it slowed the speed at which the horses could eat. So they would save it more instead of just kind of eating it all at once. Like they were more into saving their food or they're kind of forced into it because they couldn't get it as quickly. So it's it was a very realistic way that they used to store it all, which I think is pretty cool. So we did that, was able to come up with some design right there. All the three stalls are the same, so we don't need to go check them out. But here's our little entrance back here. Then we can come in, we got some hay out here on the outside, that same hay loft structure that we did before. But we got a little tack storage room here, like there could be some tools or something as the iron bars. You got a chest right here, which you can open into iron bars. I didn't know that, so that's cool. Got some bookshelves, you got crafting table. And then back here, hidden underneath, is another crafting table and some two more chests full of storage. My goal with these builds is to have them all completely survival ready. So if you guys wanted to build this in your survival world, you could basically live out of this guy for quite a while. Maybe not the most efficiently, but you could live out of it. So up here, we got some more storage. We got three more chests, some note blocks back in there as crates, and a little furnace right there. You got got to have your furnace in every build. And here you have two more double chests of storage. Now coming into our main tack room area, you got a big cabinet over here using spruce doors kind of as the blocker. Oh, sorry, it's spinning around all over the place. Uh, we got spruce doors right there on a, basically just, it's it, it's just a big closet. So we got that guy over here. We got a carpet on the ground. We got some saddles up on the wall because this is a tack room in fact, so they would need some saddles right here. You got a cool little build or cool little shelving bookshelf type thing. We got some more storage. We got our bed, of course. We got a little bench you can sit down on. Up here, we are able to hide some more storage. Right up there, you got one more little chest. There can be all your valuables. It's kind of out of the way. Back here in our hayloft, just a bunch of hay bales piled up, blocking off some sideways, some more storage and things right in there. And then lastly, up at our final level, you got a little, that extra little hayloft storage up here. Figured nobody would really come up here. Threw some cobwebs in. Then we got some chests. You can't actually open those though because the way these stupid stairs work. But whatever, we got our oak fence in there that we had before. But guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this build. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other builds in this type of style you guys want to see. I got a few more planned that I want to get to. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button if you really loved it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.